Hello guys, welcome to another video here. Uh, so this week on his podcast, uh, James Stewart spoke about one of the most uh, iconic pieces of motocross gear from last say the 15 years, last 15 years, which was the Nike Air MX, the Nike uh, motocross boot, which never went to sale. Uh, but for the past years I've seen in forums and stuff like that, people asking about it, uh, wanting to know some more information, if they have ever been available to, to, to buy. Um, and this is what uh, James Stewart had to say about this. And lastly, A Torres 337 asks, did you see a future with the Nike boot or was it more of a let's see where this goes boot? A Torres, the Nike boot, good question, my man. Um, did I see a future with it? I wish there was. I wish there was a future with it. Um, the Nike guys, they wanted to come in and they wanted to create a boot that was better than everybody else and create a spectacle in the motocross industry, which they accomplished all that. I don't think it was, um, I don't think I ever saw a future with it because it was so expensive. I wanted one, uh, but just knowing Nike and how they operate, it was a one-off deal and uh, just blessed to be a part of it. So. The future was in the past when we rocked it and that was that was a special time special boot also last year i saw a post on instagram from ryan dungy which was one of the the only two riders using the the nike air mx boots which uh, james stewart used them and then uh, and ryan dungy as well um and ryan dungy um uh, on that post, he wrote this uh, about the, um, the Nike Air MX boot. And I quote, The Nike Air MX boot was a personalized, purpose-built boot for motocross. And by purpose-built, I mean they weren't meant to last more than a race. The most important aspect of the Air MX was that it was never intended to be mass-produced. So it was made for performance, uh, not longevity. I easily went through hundreds of pairs. Uh, so this is what uh, Ryan Dunge had to say about that, he even wrote more about it on um, his blog, I think. Um, and yeah, it, it is really cool to have this information now about these uh, MX boots, uh, which, was, which were really cool to, to see uh, on the motocross and supercross tracks was completely different and nobody ever, ever seen a, a Nike motocross boot and it created some impact for sure. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys see you in the next one.